17. Hey, welcome back everyone. That rain that we got over the last week gave us marginal relief with the drought. I'll show you that in just a minute, but might be short lived because we will have a pretty dry Labor Day weekend, save for those, those areas that did get some showers earlier today. We have a bit of a warm up on the way going into your Labor Day and really beyond that, it'll also be pretty dry. Now let's first take a look at the drought monitor and we had a much larger area with this D4 in this maroon color, that exceptional drought. We had a good bit of relief over here. Now, what I'm saying is we're very far from being out of the woods as they're still in that D3, the extreme drought category. We've also had a little bit of relief down towards the southwest as well and towards the far southeastern edge of North Dakota. Here's a look at some of the temperatures right now. We've got some low 80s on the map, 81 currently in Bismarck, and we got a lot of upper 70s, 77 currently in Minot, and still a little warmer off towards eastern Montana there, 82 degrees in Wolf Point, Montana. A little breezy off to the north. We've got some winds between about 10 and 15 miles an hour, mostly coming out of the northwest. And it's also very dry. Now, those areas that did get a little bit of that rainfall, your dew points are a little higher, but take a look at this. Off to the far west, we've got dew points in the low 30s, and we also have 44 degree dew point in Bismarck, 41 degree dew point in Minot, so very dry out there. I want to take a look at some of the temperature history. It almost kind of looks like you threw a bouncy ball out there because we started in the upper 80s towards the end of August, went all the way down to the upper 60s there on August 26, and then bounced back up and then back down. And then as of yesterday and going into today, we're on the upswing. So temperatures are going to be warming up over your Labor Day weekend. Here's a look at the satellite and radar. We can see some of these showers that are really just now moving southeast of the James River Valley and some cloud cover moving in down there towards the southwestern corner of the state. Now, we won't have too much in the way of cloud cover going into tonight, but we will have a little bit going into your Sunday morning, mostly off towards the northwest, and then we'll get a little bit more cloud cover going into your Sunday afternoon. This is a little bit more robust than I would think here. I think these are going to be some pretty thin clouds, though, not really anything that will be producing any sort of showers. And we do have a bullseye right in the middle of the country here. We're very large confidence that we're going to be pretty warm, but zooming in towards North Dakota can see that there's still even fairly good confidence that over the next six to 10 days, which takes us into the middle of the month, will be pretty warm, especially in the southern edge of the state. Not going to be the case tonight, though. We have a lot of 40s on the board for our lows, even some mid 40s up there towards the international border. We start to warm up a little bit tomorrow. We've got some upper 80s off towards the west and some low 80s off here towards the east. And then pretty similar trend out to the west on Monday, but going to be a lot warmer towards the capital city for your Labor Day. Dickinson, you'll have a little bit more sunshine going into the middle of the week. Very breezy conditions for your Monday and Tuesday as well. And then Williston, once we hit Labor Day, we'll start to cool off a little bit into the upper 70s. Here's a look at the seven day for Minot. Notice that there's not much in the way of rain. Pretty windy conditions though for your Tuesday and we'll cool off a little bit. And then for the capital city, again, not too much in the way of rainfall, though there might be a chance towards the end of the week when we do return into the low 80s. All right. Well, I love these temperature ranges. Thank you, Mike. Coming up in sports, it's week.